Hello, my name is Susanne Brix and I'm a professor at the Technical University of Denmark. And here I'm going to be showing you some of our latest results in two Crohn's disease. These findings were recently published in GOT. It is well known that Crohn's disease is an inflammatory condition with great heterogeneity in disease presentation and treatment responses. It has been debated for some time what role commensal and pathogenic microbes play in driving this condition. One focus has been on a certain antibody, the antibody IgA and its capability to coat microbes as part of the body defenses against them. However, in our study, we have examined the role of other antibodies, specifically the IgG antibody and its subtypes, and this with interesting results. First, we compared antibody coding of fecal bacteria with IgA and the four IgG isotypes in healthy versus Crohn's disease subjects using flow cytometry. And what we found was that the subgroup of patients with severe disease had a higher coding of bacteria with IgG2 antibodies. We also found that IgG2 bacterial coding enhanced during active disease when fecal calprotecting levels were high. This demonstrates that IgG2 coding is associated with Crohn's disease activity. We also identified 25 bacteria that were enriched in fecal samples from patients displaying this high IgG2 coding. And when sorting out and sequencing the IgG2 coded bacteria to identify their nature, we identified both known pathogenic but also non-pathogenic bacteria to be coded with IgG2. Most intriguingly, we identified two bacteria, Campylobacter and Mannheimia, to be consistently non-coded and to hold the machinery to invade gut tissues. These bacteria were strongly enriched during disease flares, both in our own study cohort and also in an unrelated replication cohort from the US. Although we do not demonstrate that the two pathobionts are causing disease, our findings do suggest that these pathobionts may be able to circumvent the immune system. Therefore, our findings raise the question, are Campylobacter and Manhamia driving the uncontrolled inflammatory response in severe Crohn's disease subjects because of their ability to avoid coding with antibody? Our findings suggest that IgG2 coding of gut bacteria may be used as a biomarker to identify patients with exaggerated inflammation caused by the gut microbiota. We hope that our findings may impact clinical practice in the foreseeable future by providing new targets for disease control in patients with Crohn's disease. One way forward could be to develop new constructs that specifically bind to and thereby hinder these pathogenic bacteria in driving this inflammatory condition. In this way, one may be able to better manage this complex condition in the future.